A quick announcement for if you want to take your trading to the next level. I recently started a profitable trading signal group in which I show you and I send signals of all of my trades. If you want to join this group or if you're interested in that, go check out the first link down in the description or in the pinned comment. What's up everybody? Welcome back to Selenix Crypto and welcome to this uh, video on Hashflow and the HFT token or the Hashflow token. I uh, wanted to make a quick video on that because we just had a massive bullish breakout actually in the last couple of hours and it has been very bullish ever since uh, well basically Monday. Monday we actually started with a lot of bullish momentum. First found resistance at this resistance level around 63 cents which was our main resistance level for the last uh, for the last couple of weeks. Um, but today we broke above that also broke above this trend line which is a very weird way of drawing a trend line I know but we broke above that it is uh, it is supported and confirmed. Uh, so I just wanted to uh, just wanted to take a look at it, see what's uh, see what's possible, see what's going on. So let's get right into it. Ashflow, for for those who, who of you who don't know, it's basically a um, it's a decentralized exchange. It's a little bit different. It it has some um, what do you call them? Some uh, smart money regulators or, or, or something. I, f I forgot the name, but I know the I know the idea behind Ashflow. It's actually the, the the decentralized exchange I use the most at this point of time. I think. Um, it works great. It's very fast. A lot of a uh, lot of chains and low fees. Um, but yeah, that's just my opinion. That's another reason why I like analyzing it. For now, as I said, very bullish. We're up twenty seven percent. Volume up two hundred percent. Most of the volume, which is actually pretty significant, most of the volume is coming from credible sources. I like that a lot. Um, so altogether, we're, we're just very bullish. There were some updates uh, from Hashflow's end, but not too many updates. Not not enough that I think we need to talk about it. Uh, but if you're interested on Hashflow on the more fundamental side, let me know. I also wanted to show you some of these things that uh, that uh, Hashflow is really doing good. This is only the BSC chain, but uh, in volume, for example, you can see that the last couple of days, but also during January, we were in an uptrend. Um, but yeah, that's that's enough fundamentals for now. Let's talk about the technicals. As I said, we had a had a couple of major bullish breakouts, basically two above 63 cents. And above this uh, 65 66 cents level um however we have also reached a major resistance level around 75 cents which is a psychological resistance level but you can also see that technically after the uh, binance launchpad launch of hash flow it was also very much respected uh, so we found resistance there it uh, technically it ranges from 75 to 70 cents found resistance there um, and, um, and and now the main thing is, is, is can we break through that? Can we actually, for example, break above 70 cents in order for us to take a break retest and get up to our next price target around 81 and 84 cents? That's the main thing we want to do. And I, I, it's, it's possible. It's definitely possible because there's a lot of bullish momentum in hash flow. And if Bitcoin actually continues this bullish momentum, we could actually very well do it. I just think that it's, it's, more unlikely than it is likely that we'll do it now. I think it's more likely for hash flow right now that sure we might test 74 and 75 cents once more, but that from that level we will drop back down to 66 and even down to 63, 62 cents. Find support there. And then if the market will stay bullish like it is or at least stable, um, neutral, then I think we can do something like this later on. But I think it's I think the resistance level between 70 and 75 cents, we haven't even touched 75 cents. I think it's too strong for now. And therefore, I think we'll slowly drop back down. And then if the market circumstances are still great, I don't think it's a problem. I think we can do it again, uh, get up to that level and then break it. Uh, but I'll keep you updated on that if you're interested in that. For now, this is my take on, uh, on, on hash flow. If you do have any questions, let me know. But for now, take care and bye.